Family of the man killed in that crash, carrying on his legacy. His specialist, Lauren Steinbrecher, is live at Smith's Ballpark tonight. And Lauren, sounds like everyone got a special gift there tonight. And there is a story behind it, isn't there? Yeah, Mike, so everyone who attended the Bees game tonight got one of these little toy wooden cars. It's from Tiny Tim's Toy Foundation. Now the volunteers here are remembering Tiny Tim's biggest volunteer. The night at the ballpark tonight includes... Would you or anyone in your family want a free car? A free car. Well, a toy one. Here you go. Cool. Come on. That's awesome. Yeah, we, can, we can take one. Yeah. Julie Merrill <laughs> is one of the people handing them out for a good cause. From Tiny Tim's Toy Factory, we're all volunteers with them, and we just make these and donate them. She also helps make these cars, which are sent to kids all over the world here to do the work. He um, really dove into this place. Her dad, Niall Thacker, used to do every day for years. I can't even count how many people have, have come up to me and just given me big hugs and cried since he left us. In early December, as Niall drove a load of a thousand Tiny Tim's cars to hospitals around the valley, a Dodge pickup truck um, came down the off-ramp um, at very high speeds, um, around 90 miles an hour. Niall was hit as he sat stopped at the stoplight. There was no chance of survival. Julie would later find out police suspected the driver who hit and killed her father was under the influence, but charges in Niall's death weren't filed until late April. The driver wasn't in jail until early May. It's a hard thing um, to, for anyone to have to face. It was preventable, you know? Um, this type of thing is so preventable. As the family waits for justice while spreading a message against drinking and driving, volunteers continue building cars. Though there's something missing with an empty hole in the Tiny Tim family. Niall is one of those heroes that wore his cape backwards in the, in the form of a work apron all the time. Doing what they can now to remember. He's just greatly missed. To keep bringing smiles to kids' faces. Yeah, you. yeah you're Thank welcome. You. Dressed like Niall did. Yeah, so Niall was actually the cousin of the founder of Tiny Tim's, Elton Thacker. And so he'd been involved um, with Tiny Tim's for more than a decade, but really started volunteering a few years ago, 60 to 70 hours a week, Mike. I love what she said about him being a hero who wears his cape backwards. It's beautifully said. Quite the legacy he leaves behind. Lauren, thank you. I have a reality check for you right now.